So, did it live up to the hype and expectation that had been building for the last five days? Kentucky just got past Louisville with a 69-61 victory. Ironically, when these two teams played just back in December, it was the Wildcats winning 69-62. So very, very similar result, but a very different means to the end, so to speak, as the Wildcats allowed 16 offensive rebounds by the Cardinals, and that really was able to keep them in this game they got a lot of second chance looks and points, but they were unable to hit a lot of key shots on the perimeter. Guys like Kyle Couric, Russ Smith, Peyton Siva, they were unable to ever really get going on the perimeter. They had to rely on getting to the basket, getting layups when they could, or at least getting putbacks by Blackshear, Bahannon, and Dang. Uh, and Anthony Davis, you know, he still is the story of this game as far as I'm concerned. He had five blocks, 14 rebounds. Who knows how many more shots he actually altered. It was unbelievable watching all these Cardinal guards going to the basket, throwing up balls five feet over the hoop just because they're afraid the ball's going to get blocked. Uh, it just shows how mentally and physically uh, Anthony Davis can affect the other team in a game. Darius Miller, really, he's one of my favorite players in college basketball this season. True unsung hero. He's a quiet, soft-spoken kid. Uh, he's a senior, though. A lot of that stuff gets over. A lot of upperclassmen get up overlooked on this roster for Kentucky, and he's really the only one sticking around and playing. Uh, but he came up huge tonight off the bench, 13 points. He had a key three that sort of was a rebuttal to Peyton Sivas three that tied the game midway through the second half. Uh, so Miller, again, huge it's the type of guy that you need on this championship-type team. So Kentucky prevails. They did what they needed to do. I was surprised at the way the game went, impressed by Louisville's effort. But again, it's just not enough for the amount of talent that the Wildcats have. So they'll be in the championship game on Monday night.